Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome to today's video. If you're new, my name is Nikki and you're watching Nikki's Makeup. I just got home from the hair salon. I finally went and got my hair colored and trimmed. I kind of waited a while, more like nine months because life got busy and I was trying to grow my hair a little bit. So I finally went and got the hair taken care of today. And I absolutely love, love, love the way my hair turned out. I always do a golden blonde color because it's one of my favorite colors to do for my hair. And it just really suits me. And I feel like it suits not just me, but my age. Because I'm 50 after all. And no, I'm not ashamed to throw out there my age. I'm proud to be 50. So this is how it turned out. I did manage to keep a little bit of the length, but just wanted to share that. I am blonde again. Those dark roots are long gone. Anyways, let's get to today's video. For my eye look today, I kind of came up with the name of this eye look. I don't know if there's such a name out there even. So maybe this is like a new eye look, new name for an eye look. I'm calling this a rustic fall kind of vibe eye look. Let me just share with you how this eye look turned out. I'm just going to have to, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to have to hold this back because it's not going to stay. I love it. And there goes the hair. I love this very rustic look. I think it kind of really matches the shirt. And I just realized I have a little... I have a little makeup right here. I got I got makeup on my shirt, which, you know, what's new? It happens. Is it going to bug me? No. It's just a shirt. You can clean it. So this is my makeup look. I did use two palettes to create this look. The first one is the Milani Gilded Nudes palette. And the Lime Crime of Venus palette. I took swatches of the eyeshadow shades I use, but they're already fading. They probably actually just rubbed off on my clothes. Does that happen to you when you're doing makeup and you're, if you're filming videos? It just kind of rubs off on what you're wearing. Well, that happens to me all the time. So these are the very faded <laughs> swatches of the shades I use. But don't worry, I'm going to take better swatches and take some photos. You'll, you'll, you'll see the swatches much better later on, but that's what they look like. I love these two shades. I love the way it turned out. So I used these two palettes. For my foundation, I used my holy grail Catrice HD Liquid Foundation in Light Beige. I'm about to do something incredibly crazy, and I hope this doesn't break. Are you ready? I'm so nervous to do this. <sighs> that didn't break. I know, you're probably thinking, oh my god, girl, did you just throw that? Did you just throw that? Yeah, I did. Because I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know what the word I'm looking for right now. Anyways, for concealer. Because I'm at the age of 50 and I need, I need all the anti-aging things, you know. We use the Maybelline New York Instant Anti-Age Eraser Multi-Use Concealer in shade 07. And I know this is looking kind of rough. I need to get another mascara. I use the... <laughs> Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Curl. So far, nothing fell off the bed. That's a plus. For my lips, I use the Essence. What the fake? And I knew, I know, I knew, I know what you were thinking. What the fake? Plumping Lip Filler with Hydronic Acid. Hydronic Acid. 
because I don't have any other lipsticks that would go with this look. And by the way, my lips, I have complained in the last two videos about my lips being excessively dry. I solved that problem. I used um, Nivea. Not necessarily on my lips, a little bit on my lips, but kind of had like dry around here, these, this area here. I just used a little bit of Nivea and it helped. Who knew that Nivea would help with really excessively dry lips in the, you know, the area surrounding your lips here? Nivea worked. I would never have guessed, never have guessed that, that would have like taken care of the dryness, but it did. So if you want to know all the other products I used, be sure to check out my description. I will have everything I used for this makeup look down below. Whether it's here on YouTube or any of my other social media sites. Later, I'm going to take some photos of this makeup look. I'm going to take oh, better swatches of the shades, which I just rubbed all over my pants. And I'll take some photos of the makeup products. Or did I just say that? I may have just said that. If you enjoyed this video, why not give this video a thumbs up? Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment and share. All of these things are free and they really help to boost my algorithm. It really helps my channel out and helps me get more notice. And I would really appreciate if you guys can do those things for me if you haven't already. I do appreciate all of your support and I love, I love your comments. Your comments, a lot of you are leaving comments on my videos and I have to tell you, it just means the world to me when you guys comment on the videos. I enjoy like going to my YouTube and seeing that someone commented. If you do comment, I will comment back. So be sure to comment, comment hello, hi, comment your favorite product. Or if you have a video idea that you wanna see me do, be sure to comment that as well. Now, before I let you all go, I have one little announcement. And that is, I have opened up, I should say, started a new, another YouTube channel. That YouTube channel is called the, oh boy, did I remember, do I remember what it's called now? <laughs> I suddenly forgot the name of the new YouTube channel that I started. Um, cause I'm having like, I'm having like a fog, you know, you, you, you're postmenopausal, you have the brain fog. I will link my new YouTube channel down below because like I said, I suddenly just, I'm drawing a blank. I forgot the name of the new YouTube channel. It's going to be a vlog channel. Oh, okay. Now I remember it's called the, oh gosh, I forgot the name. I really forgot the name. Like what's going on? I will link it down below. It's going to be a vlog channel. So I'm going to be posting like lifestyle, some travel stuff whenever I travel and just like vlog type videos. So I'll, like I mentioned, I will have that new channel linked below. So please consider going there. I don't have any videos up yet. I will be, I will be posting a video probably later this week, but if you want, go check it out and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that if you're interested in doing that and yeah. That's it. I don't want to keep you guys any longer. I hope you all have a fabulous day, morning or evening, wherever you are seeing this video. And I look forward, as always, to seeing you in the next one. Bye, everybody.